Hey my fellow bistros, welcome back again. As you see, I'm playing Prison Princess. From we last left off. Okay, I have met um Aroy. I think that's how you say your name, Aroy. Okay. And I help her get out of shackles, I think, too. Okay, but also solve a statue another statue problem with a frog though. Got panty shots from that. Okay. And also organize the books and unlock this little uh, panel right here with the lever. Okay, so we're gonna figure out what that's about and also we learned too that maybe this like I'm saying like uh, I thought that true never mind uh, for a moment I was thinking like the scenario the princess's um, Zena's door is already open I'm trying to figure out how to open this door now I was gonna say that both rooms might be like interconnected connected some way but it's not actually for a moment ah stupid me okay but also actually guys I actually did learn something new um, recently now that the, the game of um, Prison Princess was actually made by the same developers of Nekomiko and also Nin Nin Days. Okay, so I was completely surprised about that. So when I learned about that, I also see went to go on their website and see what other games they have too. And they actually have two other games that's not on the Switch. Okay, but it's on Steam. So if I ever do get a PC in the future, or if this comes on the Switch, I'm definitely gonna be getting it. It's called I'm gonna try try to say it correctly, but I'm butcher it. Um Coco Rose Days. This one seems like it's about a female fantasy knight from a different world, maybe I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Or maybe from like a manga or something like that, because I see some like books or games around so it could be from like she could be from a book or a game or something like that and the other one's called trouble days and by the looks of this one of course this is clearly a succubus and honestly i wouldn't be surprised what's gonna be in this one i wouldn't be surprised with this one especially when the the demon girl right here is a succubus like it obviously it's a succubus but yeah, if I ever get like a PC or if this comes on the Switch, because uh, it seems like it's been going, these games have been going on more on Switch than other consoles, of course, I am definitely going to get it because I'm actually really enjoying the games. Okay? Even though, like, I shouldn't be surprised at what happens, I'm more surprised of how it happens in these games. But anyhow, though, that's enough of me blabbering on. Okay, we're going to get started with this. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the level right now. Alright, behind the door uh, is a contraption with levers. Right? A panel with an alphabet on it is attached to the movable part. Um, I don't know. I asked me. That lever looks very suspicious. Princess Arya, be careful. Please don't touch things absent minorly. Uh, she's gonna touch her industry. Saying this, Princess Arya inst instantly reached out her hand towards the lever. Yep, I figured. Huh? Okay. Well, that's a good thing, because you never know what could happen. Like, the moment you, I don't know, you hit something, it releases... I'm gonna go with like a typical trope with anim some animes. Slime monsters fall out and start eating your clothes, and then you have nothing to wear. Though, I wouldn't mind that. Okay, back what I was saying. Okay. Um, she's fab um, fabulous the uh, fabulous with the lever a number of times. Fibbles with the lever. Sorry, I don't know what I was saying. Fibbles with the lever several uh, numbers of times. But the panel simply continues to turn on and off. Princess Arya, I ask you to not handle it carelessly like that. Okay, you know, I, that's something I expect you, like, children to do, because, you know, when you tell kids not to do something, they most likely do it, trust me, I am one of those kids back then, okay, and, yeah, also, wait, well, several things, one, she's in her head now, that confirms it, also, two, that's an adorable face she's making, very cute, very adorable, I love it. 
Looking back towards the lever, I see that a number of panels are, are uh, now lit up. Let's continue looking for hints and try to solve this puzzle. Okay, well, I could probably guess this one is basically related to this. Like, in the same order because I see the same letters, so, um... G... D... O... O... E... E... Right there? And... And L. That wasn't that hard. But again, this is only the beginning. I'm expecting these puzzles to get a little more difficult. A loud sound... Wait, a loud sound rings out. It sounds like a door opening. Uh, well... I would say I didn't do much. You kind of did most of the work because I can't really touch anything, can I? Because I am, like, tangible now. You know, anything goes, I touch will go right through. So, yeah. No, this is all thanks to your hard work, Princess Arya. Actually, I, I hardly did anything at all. Well, actually, think about it, too, now. Uh, she is an airhead. And she probably wouldn't know what she was doing unless I was instructing her, so I guess we did a little something. Something to nothing, I guess. Yeah, we better go back to her, actually, because she's probably crying. I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I tell Priscilla to wait a while. Hey, wait a while. Uh, hey, wait a while. I go let Princess Anna know that she wants to meet her. You want to meet her. Okay. Onwards to the princess of Zenna. I don't know. I don't know the name of the land she was getting able to from. Okay. Wow. That's a way to greet someone. Aww. She got tears in her eyes. That's such a cute. Aww. Okay. When I get back to the room, I see that Princess Zana is at the point of tears, even though I try my best to get here as soon as possible. Well, I would say, how do you know I'm there, but I probably said something, because you can't see me. Wow, you really thought I abandoned you? I am not that kind of spirit. I was going to say, well, guy spirit. Hero spirit. Hero guy spirit. Yeah, hero guy spirit. I would never do that. Yes, really. Of course not. Princess Anna, I know you can't, can't see me, but I'm shaking my head very... <laughs> Specifically. Ah, that's so cute. I'm like this. <laughs> okay, fine. Why not just go? Why don't you both go together? You just go in the hallway together. I right. I tell Pastor Oya that Zena is waiting in the next room. Why not just, like, honestly, I don't know why, it, like, I'm just saying, when Princess Zana came out, she could have just went straight in front of the door, at least. Because at least, one, she can heal us and know she's not really by herself, okay? And two, you guys will already meet without me going back and forth delivering messages. Saves a little time. Alright, Princess Alia practi um, practically skipped towards the exit. Even though she's by the bookcase, okay. I hope she's going to be okay. I have a feeling that person doesn't have a very strong sense of direction. I wouldn't be surprised she doesn't. At least I managed to get both of them out of their rooms for the time being. I still don't know where we are. I don't, still don't know where we are now. I, but if any monsters appear, I won't be able to save the princesses in a critical physical state. Current physical state. What the, the fuck is wrong with me? I pray for a peaceful road ahead and follow Princess Arya through the door. I have a feeling we will be seeing monsters. We might be seeing monsters at some point. Ooh! I saw the dragon. I saw that little dragon statue or gargoyle statue. What is it? Gargoyle or dragon? We'll find out, actually, if I get a clear pit look in the back. Yes! Right. When I return to Princess Arya and Zana is striking a dun like, dancing pole 
Pose. Standing there grundly? Okay. <laughs> so this could also be the first time they're actually meeting, right? Yep. Well, who else would she be? Well, what do you expect? You were kidnapped and thrown into a dungeon. Or a room, really, not a dungeon. Spoiler brat. Lee, she's being like positive. Because I am the hero. God damn it, you idiot. This is the private conversation. I won't be hurt by it. Okay. <laughs> yes, I did. Sort of. Ah, now you're being sort of nice in a mean way. Hey. Right. I'll do everything in my power to help the two of you. Okay. What? Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah, why not? It'll actually be a lot more easier saying Princess Zana and Princess Arya, Princess, 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 oh my god. There you go, make things easier. Just say Zena. You're supposed to say Zena. Oh, I can call you whoever I want. I'll call you Sundare. There you go. Oh, is that chance better? Oh my god. Ah, oh, look at that blush. She is so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, they're both being adorable right now. I love this. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, see, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, this is cute. I'm loving this. Oh, I did that last one. My bad. Nicole, Arach, Aria Chan. There you go. Princess Anna, you finally shown some kindness. Okay, I guess she's enjoying calling her Zena Chan. Yeah, you you definitely sound kind right now. These two are like complete opposites. Yes, finally. We'll do some exploring so we can escape. Yes, let's do that, please. Alright, that's um that's right. Let's focus on and um enjoying and start the search. Okay, so now, I am curious now about the whole, uh... 
どちらかが外に繋がっているのではないでしょうか繋がってるかもしれないしそうじゃないですかどちらにせよ用心するに越したことはなさそうねさて我らが勇者は何か考えを持っていたりするのかしら I'm also thinking about what kind of weird positions I'm going to be seeing you guys in. To be honest, I'm actually really expecting like weird, awkward, certain poses and positions they'll be in. Because it's, again, the people that made this ne Nekomiko and Ninin Days made this game, so I'm, I m really am expecting something like that. There seem to be a lot of places with potential for investigation. Yep. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Oh, okay, here we go. So now I will be picking some stuff. Now, where to start looking? Okay, my magic sense does not actually come back, so that's a bit annoying, so I can only use it a certain number of time. Why do you have to be in the way now? Sheesh. Look at this. Yes, it is huge. I'm assuming we have to do something with that. Oh, wait, I have an idea, though, because I'm seeing the center platform right now. That could be something. Right. They all look to be intricate stones, mo um, momentum. I have no idea. Yes, let's keep investigating. Oh, we get nice panty shots. Probably. Yes, it is suspicious. Look at what, what? It seems that Princess Aria found something. Oh. So, I found something. Aha, I did find something. Oh! Yeah, how did I do that? Yes, it just appeared out of nowhere. The pattern appear. Uh, the pattern appear on the panel. Huh? What should we do with this? Oh, I think it's like a matching thing, right? Do I have to match it? Hey. That's strange. The patterns won't appear even when the panel is passed. Let's uh, give up on this for now. Investigate uh, now surroundings. I probably have to do that. Okay. So there's supposed to be a way to keep the panel going, I guess. Yeah, definitely not good. I don't understand either. I I don't I don't get it either. It's so frustrating not being able to help you two. That's true. true. It's okay. There is a hint. Yes, yeah, so let's keep looking. Okay, I'm um uh, I'm gonna press this altar right here. I don't know. Probably will be something strange. I sense a tranquil floating light. Tranquility floats throughout the Great Hall because of the altar there. It looks like there's no clues though, so you should check elsewhere. Okay. Um, we tried the statue. Power. Earth Dragon. Hmm. I'm gonna assume these are actual dragons and they're only like sleeping or something. You know, I can't really do shit. Uh, well, I. 
How would you like me to attack it? I don't have a physical body. Yes, especially in my current situation. Is Princess Zena actually on my side? Well, actually, yeah, that's really surprising right now. She's on my side. I'm kind of hoping at the end of this. Wait, just. Oh, okay. But for a moment, I, too, uh, I, I'm kind of curious at the end of this, will I get my body back? I'm very curious. Or at least get some kind of body back. I don't know. Alright, time to look as well. Uh, yes. I'm gonna look at this, this statue right now. I probably will. I, I'm actually really expecting you, that true. Also, I just noticed the statue is all two different kind of things. Oh, cool. Ah. Of her mom, if I say Sky Dragon, that's why. Okay. Hmm. You can check this again. This is huge. Yes. They they all look into the indication indicated stone monument. I have no idea. Alright, never mind. Try that again. Thing is, yeah, it's the same thing. Hmm. Can we? Yes. What does it do with lead? Oh, we can peek inside. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Well, might as well. Could lead to the exit. Yes. Here we go. Oh, we're actually all in a different room. Yes, actually, that looks nice. Alright, the vibe of this room is clearly different from the others we've been in. I think it's a guest room, but... Yeah, actually, it's true. What would Demon King need a guest room for? Well... I would say probably for like demon generals and stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I'm assuming because like if a general comes back from whatever the campaign they're going through and stuff like that, a guest room would be suitable for them just to rest up. I'm guessing. Well, uh, there you go. Well, like I said, demon generals, okay, would probably be more likely the ones taking the guest rooms, especially someone that he can chat with, talking about plans and other stuff like that. So, again, yes. The demon king and his minions drink a cup of tea while having a little chat. Any way you can imagine it, it's funny enough to ease the stuffy atmosphere in this room. In the room. <laughs> Okay. You might actually see the guest too, you never know. Someone could actually be in this room. Yeah. I know, yeah, actually, yeah. Why did they not, like... 
Mate, yeah, that's a good question. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Calm down. I let Princess Aya work on calming down Princess Anna, but if exact, <laughs> but it's exactly as Princess Anna say, something don't um, don't add up here. That's actually interesting. You all sense magic, but this is supposed to be the Demon King's castle. Maybe he's not here? That could be the case. Or probably, like, the castle is, I don't know, uh, suppressing the magical creatures or something like that's powers or something? To hide them? That would make sense, too, because I don't know if anyone knows what the Demon King's castle is is exactly or where it is i don't know yeah split up and look oh so you do sense monsters always what's his honor Wait, what, 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 wait, what, 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 what happened? What happened? Okay, so you're upset that there's only low-level monsters? I think that would be a good thing, not a bad thing. That actually makes sense too. The lower level monsters could be like just uh doing like cleaning duties or something like that. I have no idea. Uh, there's a high possibility that the princess Aya say is true. It wouldn't make sense uh, otherwise. It would make sense otherwise. How are you taking this as an insult? Oh my god. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I like the music. Alright, she might be co um, she might be cooled down a bit after hearing Princess Aya flash out inspiration, but Princess Aya is still quite impatient. Yes, let's find some clues. Finally. Oh my god. Okay, dokie. I'm gonna assume something with this. More panty shots! Man, that sounds magic in them, but then maybe they have, like, triggered some kind of mechanism. Uh, if person doesn't sense any, anything, then I doubt they are important. Oh, what now? Maybe there's something inside. Okay. Why would... Okay. うん。だから、あまりコレクションするってことがないのよね。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
I wouldn't be surprised now they're gonna set up like a date uh, like to talk about the collection of perfume and be like oh this one's nice for this and this one's nice for that blah 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 this makes you smell like roses or whatever Ah, uh, she's blushing. Ah, uh, she's not. She, she's being shy and adorable. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, she's being embarrassed. Ah. Uh, more panty shots. Yay. Okay. Let's take a look at this painting. Ah, something with the painting. Right? Ah, something is with the painting. I, well, I find. Oh, she's saying this. I, nine women st uh, surrounding a king who has been mortally rude is also seen as if they are watching the king as he takes his last breath. Wow. And yeah, that is kind of like a sad painting right there. Nine women are ca carrying what? Okay, the holding gold. So, holding silver. Hmm. That would make sense. But I'm also seeing the, I guess you could say emblems around the painting in different colors. So I'm going to assume that's going to be a part of a puzzle right there. Right, nine women surrounding a king, four with gold fragments, four with silver fragments. The nine woman is close to the king and holding a burning torch with a holy flame. <laughs> Alright. As much as I say, the frame is decorated with a few carvings. What? You know, that's the thing I think it's kind of like funny right now that when they talk about the Demon King. Like, they think, like, I think in like, just in a typical thing when you think of a Demon King, you think of something like spooky, ominous, and just outright depressing but it doesn't mean like you know i'm the demon king everything has to be depressing gloomy and stuff it can be pretty and nice and fancy and so on it can be like a normal castle basically i'm just saying it doesn't be like with skulls and spikes hanging everywhere and dead bodies too okay hanging on the walls with the blood of my victims painting on the walls Eesh. what's wrong with you girls oh these zana i know why would you assume he steals it too? You could actually pay for it. That's a possibility too as well. Or maybe he painted it himself. Oh her, because again, yeah, Demon King could be also a female, so that could be a demon queen. But Demon King is always like the normal title for the whole rule of demons. So that could be a thing. Yes, let's escape. Come on, while we're talking about painting. Oh, he's evil. If he did steal, that's kind of like what he does that. If he, if he actually is evil. And also, because he's a demon king, doesn't mean he's evil. Eesh. Just means he's the ruler of demons. Uh, I'm gonna assume this right here is the order for that. So green, gold, green, gold, uh, purple, red, and blue. Because again, this is in Pacific order. Okay, it doesn't look like I could take it out. Maybe I need a tool. I think I have the paper! But the paper is going to be useless. I have a feeling the paper is not going to be handy in this situation. Let's take a look. 
Uh, the clock. <laughs> Can I move the clock? Well, yeah, we gave that away. Do you need to state that? I'm assuming that means that. Uh, uh, okay, something happened. Mm, kinda, I guess? I don't know. Well, yeah. Well, did that like change time or something like that? So things have kind of like changed in the room or something? It could be a clue. Yeah! Time could have stopped! Okay, we're gonna go back. Can we go more in the- Okay, that's just the window. It doesn't lead to a hallway. Yep. Oh yeah, you can probably escape from the window then. Oh yeah, no. Well, yeah, actually, Arya is a mage. She can use magic, right? Can she just like use some kind of like wind spell the moment she like about to hit the ground to like cushion the floor? Depending on how high it is. Alright. Alright, um, as they, as you say, the window does look out, I uh, does look outside, but... Yeah. Hey. At the height, it might be possible, even for you, Princess Zena, if by chance you get down alive, uh, you won't escape on the engine. I guess so. I would actually probably depend on how high it is. I probably would take the chance too myself. Uh, let's take a look. More panty shots. God damn, we're seeing a lot of like Arya's panties in this episode, aren't we? Right. There are three uh, suspicious looking Franks. I don't know. What? I can probably guess what happened. Princess Arya, Princess Anna. When the princess touched, um, when Princess Arya touches the faucet, a colorful liquid spill out of the two on on the two girls. Oh, we're gonna see that, aren't we? Oh. <laughs> At least it's not white. That would give like a different impression. And why did I mention that? <laughs> oh, my mind's a bit dirty right now, to be honest, but you can't blame me. You guys are thinking the same thing as I am. But they do have different colors. Oh, calm down. in the hair, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, more! Yeah, oh, yay! We, we're gonna get more! Yeah, so this time it's saying green, it's blue! When does the red one... I was gonna say, when does the red one come out, but, you know, we got the red now. <laughs> oh, what does this game... Oh. Ah. Uh, Don't that you wear? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. You know, it seems like Princess Zana is enjoying this way too much because of the, the, the look on her face right now. 
I'm glad you princesses are so chummy. But we were supposed to be looking now. Yeah. I am trying to keep my laughter under control right now, to be honest. So, because if I burst out laughing, I might just keep laughing until I die myself, to be honest. Because, oh my god, that's. Uh, please don't try to drink it. Don't try to drink it, though. Yes, please don't drink this liquid. Okay. Ah, uh, my god. That reminds me, I believe um, there's a bucket and a bottle, wait, water bottle in Princess Oya's dungeon. So I have to go back to our dungeon, I guess? Okay, so, you know what, we'll go... I guess we can leave. Alright, let's touch the room that fits in the hollow. So wait, I can't leave the room now? Oh, maybe I saw something. Oh! Okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, Princess Anna virtually, um, virtually pulls the rug aside and a, cl a huge cloud of dust dance air up. Damn, dance up within the air. Into the air. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's kind of stupid. I know, why you gotta be so, like, vicious? Like, just, bruh, like, like, violently, like, move the rug. Just can simply move it. Ah! Yeah. Alright, when it does settle, it seems that Princess Zanda has spotted something, and she raises her voice in surprise. Well, it could be just like a vault, really. I probably doubt that. Yeah. わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。わかる。
on the bottom layer is red, so it could mean something. Also, the two dials, the two dials have 12 marks, and they're a long arrow and a short arrow. Yes, I know, it's the clock. It's the fucking clock, I get it, come on. Right. Just as Princess Aria said, I feel this is something commonplace, as if we were to see something very similar. Oh yeah, idiot. Uh, Princess Anna is still confused, and has became quite grumpy looking at the Princess Aria and I. But I'm invisible, she, she can't see me, so how can she be looking at me? Right? Right. You two, um... You two are familiar with it. Princess Anna, come. Right? We shall work it out together. Alright, let's do it. Um, trying to, um, trying to build up Princess Anna, we take on the challenge on this, uh, next puzzle. Okay, well, I do know it. I just need to look at the clock. Okay, big hand on Roman numerals. I hate Roman numerals numbers. 10? And I'm assuming this is going to be like on 2, maybe? 2 or 1. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you don't have to like tell me again. Oh, but wait! The red marks are on the bottom! Aha! Try to trick me! This arrow is the arrow hand. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to move it! Oh, unless I have to match it with the, the clock with this, maybe. That could be it. So, again, if this might be 12 then, because the mark is 12, so technically the big hand needs to be on... 1, I have to move my head like this, and the little hand on 3. Big hand, big hand on 1. I'm trying to move it. Oh, no, no, no. How do you... Hmm, let me take a look again. I'm pressing around the clock just in case, but I know I'm right. Stop with that! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, maybe I supposed to. Wait, on the outside, the red mark, along with the twelve, um, twelve other marks, something with uh, marks a clock. Okay, now it's moving. Oh, so wait, so other way around. So uh, I gotta look at this again. Okay, so again, um, big hand on 10, little hand, either 1 or 2. Okay. Big hand on 10, little hand, 1 or 2. Hey, yeah, 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 don't, don't repeating. So, right there. Okay. I don't know how that worked, but I think it works. <laughs> Yay! What's inside? Ooh! It's a stick with a gem on top! Lovely! Give it to Arya, it probably works for her, she uses magic. I did say it was gonna be a safe, right? Did I say that? I don't remember. Yes! 
Probably does hold special magic. Probably does. Alright. I'm the only- right, I'm the one here who is familiar with a staff because it once belonged to the stage that journey with me. Oh! So what up, I guess? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Hey, right. what in the world was the sage doing here? Uh, doing after I die? Maybe he's the one that killed me. Or maybe he's the guest in this room. Uh, it is possible, but I don't want to believe it. I really doubt that at this point. I honestly think he probably killed me. Uh, so, uh, you shouldn't worry about it. But, for now, let's rejoice in the discovery of this staff. Yeah, it could be useful. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm not sure how it will help, but since we got it, let's use this staff on, uh, to our advantage. You're retaining a sage staff. Okay, so I got a staff now. Oh, maybe the staff shoots fire and I have to use the f fireplace? No, never mind. I'm like pointing at it, but it's not doing it. Ooh, what about this? Yeah, it isn't lit. It probably does do something when we lit it. I have a feeling that um, there was a torch in Princess Zana, um, Princess Zana's room. We might be able to light it with that. Ah, okay. But yeah, I'm actually going to end here, okay? I'm actually recording this a little bit longer than I thought I would. But at least we got some stuff done. All right, the girls got covered in um, strange liquids. Okay. I'm just glad she didn't, they didn't drink it, at least, because that would be awkward, too. Yeah. But anyhow, though, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you pass the like button so you guys enjoy. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon too, so be notified about new videos. Until next time, this is Dom Beast, howling out.